Hello, this is Brian here. Uh, we're going to do part two of our uh, PBR shader um, tutorials in RenderMan, and particularly RenderMan for Blender. Um, so in part one, if you haven't watched it already, you should probably go watch it, but we talked a lot about setting up um, using PBR textures with both PXR Surface and PXR Disney. Um, and like we talked about in part one, um, we can use both of those two two BXDFs, Disney and PXR Surface, but the problem with uh, the Disney shader in RenderMan is that it can't be layered. So if we have two different materials um, that we want to layer on top of each other, we can't do that with the Disney shader, but we can do that really well with um, uh, PXR Surface, and we'll get into that here. Um, so uh, just like part one, this is definitely inspired by a... Uh, tutorial by Andrew Price, um, better known as Blender Guru. Um, so definitely thanks to him, and we're gonna we're gonna do something similar to what he did in one of his PBR material, um, uh, in his tutorial. So what we're doing is we're gonna set up. We have a tiled floor here, um, and what we're gonna do is we want to. Um, simulate doing a sort of like dust smudge layer on top of the on top of the tiled floor. Um, so I'm, for the people who've watched part one, um, we in part one we oh, let me just put my frame buffer on top here. Okay, so in part one we talked about setting up PBR materials with PXR surface, and if you ignore everything down here for right now, uh, what we have set up is a um uh is a is a node network where we are feeding in our maps our pbr maps into uh see here we're using pixar layer instead of pixar surface and i'll get into that in a second um but functionally they work very similarly um but anyway so we're feeding in the uh diffuse color map and this is the uh this is the glossy color map for the um, uh, for the tiles, and then the um, reflectivity map, which goes to the roughness for the tiles, and also we have a normal map, and that looks pretty good here. Um, so Pixar layer, um, I guess I should explain the the relationship between Pixar layer and Pixar surface. So these were um, these were shaders that were developed at Pixar Studio, and the goal with them was to allow uh, artists to basically build up materials and think about like think about like you know different materials you might have like so for example like a a wood table that has a a layer of lacquer on top of it you could build up the lacquer material and the and the wood material and it would allow you to layer those on top of each other. Um, so PXR layer has basically all the same parameters uh, as PXR surface, except PXR layer is not a BXDF. So you have to feed it either into PXR surface or into one of the layer mixers here. Um, it's a little bit of a strange concept to wrap your head around, but once you figure it out, it, it, it makes a lot of sense. So PXR layer basically has all the, all the diffuse, the specular, um, controls similar to PXR surface. Um, and right now we're feeding our, let's just disconnect this here so we don't get distracted by it. It doesn't do anything right now. Um, right now we're just feeding the PXR layer straight into PXR surface. Now you can actually use PXR surface like this where you don't even turn anything on in PXR surface and it just takes all of the, this is a, this is a struct con connection um, or a shader connection um, is what you might call it in in um, cycles. But anyway, so it's just taking all the parameters straight from PXR layer and putting it into PXR surface. So that's um, what we're doing here. And again, we're just getting the tile material, but really what we want to do is we want to look at, make it look like there's a layer of dust on top of the tiles. Um, so the way we can do that is we have another node called PXR layer mixer. Um, Oh, let me just let me just zoom down here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to use our layer mixer to mix together our dust layer and our tile layer to um, 
to sort of simulate having one on top of each other. So um, you'll notice uh, the layer mixer here, if we zoom in a little bit, um, the layer mixer has a, uh, you basically can mix five different uh, PXR layers together. So it's pretty powerful. The mix layer on uh, in cycles, you can only do two materials together. So you have to sort of chain them together to use them. Um, but here you can use, you know, five at once. And also you notice the colors here are the same. So we can actually hook together our, um, the PXR layer mixer can hook straight into the input material on PXR surface. So what we want to do is, um, is mix together our, uh, our dust layer and our tile layer. Um, so our dust layer, let's think about what dust is. So dust on top of like a shiny surface would be something as similar as, uh, I mean, it's basically just a little diffuse layer. We can just do it with that. So that's what we did here is um, we just turned on our diffuse and we can actually make this a little rougher because, you know, dust is kind of a, a rough surface. Um, and then what we're using for our masks um, I actually I actually use the polygon textures, which is um, the ones that are coming from Blender Guru himself. So if you go to the, his free texture section, uh, here's where I got the uh, the tile textures from. Um, and then uh, for the for the, um, the sort of dust layer, we can just use these these uh, smudge masks. So. What we did here is we we put our smudges into uh, into the whole into the um, texture map here, and I'm just remapping it so I'll be able to to tweak it a little bit here. So let's just start. Let's just restart our render. Um, now, if I go and turn up the smudges really high, let's see what we got here. Okay, so now if I turn up the smudges really high, the smudges are going into the mask, and it's basically saying like. Hey, anywhere, anywhere there is, let's pull up our smudge mask so we can take a look at it. Here's our smudge mask. Uh, you know, it's mostly black, but with our remap, we can turn it up really high. So anywhere where it's not uh, one, it's basically going to get multiplied in. But basically what we're doing is we're sort of adding this, this other, like, extra layer of diffuse on top of our tile material there. Um, so again, that's, that's kind of high, so let's just turn that down a little bit. Um, you know, and we can, we can tweak this, um, so that, uh, using our remap nodes here, we can tweak this to sort of give us the, the right amount of, uh, smudginess on top. It might be kind of sensitive here, um, and, you know, I'm not trying to do this perfectly here, but you get the idea is... What we're using is the texture map uh, put into the layer mixer, uh, layer mixer on the onto the layer mask, um, and then for this example, we're just using um, uh, a sort of a diffuse material. But you can do lots of stuff. Um, I, you know, another example is you could you do you know one one area be one area be red, one area be black, and then you know sort of mix between them. There's a lot of stuff you can do with the layer mixer. Um, and again, so both the PXR layer can go straight into the PXR surface and um, and the uh, layer mixer can also go into the PXR surface. And there's another question that came up uh, recently, which was, what's the difference between PXR surface and PXR layer surface? So they actually do the exact same thing. Um, it's just that layer surface, um, if, I, if I put one in here, let's see here. Uh, layer surface just hides a lot of these controls for you so that it's basically made for using with the layer mixer. So if you want to just use the layer mixer and not and not have to worry about the PXR surface on the base, um, you could just use layer surface instead. But again, all the all the controls that are on PXR surface are actually on PXR layer. So if you want to, you could just use PXR layer. And if you feel like later on, it, it's actually probably a good idea because if you start using PXR layer 
and then later on you decide you want to like add another layer or like sort of um, you know do something on top of it, you won't have to move all the settings over from PXR surface to PXR layer. Um, okay, so there's a lot of new concepts in this video. Um, if you have any questions about PXR layer and PXR surface, um, there are some good tutorials on our doc site, and I'll put a link there, or just ask them in the comments below. Um, like I said, I will have another video coming out tomorrow. Um, we are releasing version 21.4 of RenderMan, and there's some really cool new features for doing hair rendering, and then also um, and some new features for the RenderMan for Blender plugin as well. So I'll just do a quick video to show off the new features uh, for that. Okay, so thanks a lot. Talk to you later.